Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this spider. The little girl I babysit loves singing Incy Wincy Spider, so I thought I'd make a spider to make into a finger puppet. The size of the spider is 11 centimetres by 11 centimetres, or 4 inches by 4 inches, from the outside of the legs and the back to the end of the leg. I'll be using 8 ply wool which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got black and white for the eyes and a dark grey for my main colour. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors, a 2.5mm crochet hook and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The red cotton is to embroider on the mouth. Now I'm starting with the body, the part at the back. So using my dark grey I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook on top of my yarn and bring a short end over the hook and then take my long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around my hook and bring it through the circle and that's a magic loop. Then I work one chain. Into my circle I work three half double crochet a half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle from the front and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and hook and yarn through all the loops. And that's a half double crochet. So yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take hook and yarn through all the loops and I need one more. Then I work three treble. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice, hook in through the circle and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the next two loops, yarn around the hook and hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. So we need two more. Now we work six half double crochet into our circle another three treble and three half double crochet. We pull the circle tight so we take hold of the tail and just ease it in. And then slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So just this stitch here at the top of the first chain. For a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch and bring, put our yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the stitch and then through the loop on our hook. And that's row one done. For row two we start with one chain and work one half double crochet into the same stitch as a chain. One half double crochet into the next stitch. 
and two half double crochet into the following stitch. Next we work two treble into each of the next three stitches. So two treble into each of the next three stitches. Now we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches. Now two half double crochet into the next stitch and two treble into each of the following three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into each remaining stitch. And then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and work 1 double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take our hook and yarn through 2 loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through the next two loops. And then we need one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then we work two double crochet into each of the following five stitches.
then one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches Now we work two double crochet into each of the following five stitches. and then one double crochet into each remaining stitch. and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off to fasten off you just put your yarn around the hook and take the loop through the loop on your hook and that's the body done I'll try to pull in my circle a bit more. Now for the head we start with a magic loop and work one chain into our circle we work three half double crochet three treble six half double crochet Three treble, and three half double crochet. We pull our circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For bow two we start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain.
Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that to the end of the row. So one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch to the end of the row. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'll try to pull in the centre circle a bit more as well. For the outer eyes, using my white, I make a magic loop. and work one chain and seven half double crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And I'll need another eye. So I make a magic loop and work one chain and seven half double crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. I'll start on the inner eyes. Using my black I make a magic loop and work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet 
I put my hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. I put my yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through both loops. So I need two more. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and pass them off. And I've got a tiny circle. I need another one, so I make a magic loop and work one chain and three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. If you were doing a finger puppet, you would make another body to attach to the back. Now I'll weave in my ends and then we'll make up the face and stitch the face, the head to the body and then we'll do the legs. Now the first things I'll do is embroider on a small white dot on the inner eyes and then I'll attach the inner eyes to the outer eyes and I'll be back. The next things I'll do is attach the eyes to the head, just up in there, and I'll embroider on the mouth. The next thing you'd do is stitch the head onto the body, just in like that. Now I've attached the face to the body. If you were making a finger puppet, you'd attach the back to the body. I'm just going to work a slip stitch into the back loops, these loops here, just around the edge. I need to have room to put my finger in, so I'll attach my yarn just in there and work a slip stitch through one loop on the back and one loop on the front. So just in like that and work a slip stitch. In each stitch around to about there. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back now I've attached the body to the back and I can put my finger in for a finger puppet. Now we're going to work the legs. All the legs on the spider's right hand side are worked the same and the legs on the left hand side are worked the same but slightly different to the right hand side. We find our centre stitch and work back four and join our yarn in there. And we work 13 chain. We work two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. and then work one slip stitch into each of the 
next five stitches. And then we work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. A joined single crochet is called a joined double crochet in the UK. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Put our hook into the following stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. That's a joined single crochet. And now we work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body. and fasten off. And with the joined single crochet the leg will just bend in a bit. Now we work out where we want to start our back leg. I'm starting just five stitches from the centre stitch and my leg has worked the same. 13 chain We work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. A joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And a slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body. and fasten off. And the two remaining legs are worked evenly in between the back and front leg. So I'll work the next one into this stitch. So I join my yarn and work 13 chain. Work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook.
one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. A joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And a slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And then just join for the last leg just in between the two legs and work at the same 13 chain Two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One slip stitch into each of the next five chain. A joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body and fasten off. I'll just weave in those ends because I've got a few too many there and it's a bit hard for you to see. 
I'll start on the front leg for the ones on the other side. I'll start on the fourth stitch from the center. And I work 12 chain. I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. three single crochet into the next stitch that will give it the bend and a slip stitch into each remaining chain and slip stitch into the body and fasten off the back leg will start about five stitches from the center stitch So we join our yarn and work 12 chain We miss the first chain and work 2 single crochet into the next chain 1 slip stitch into each of the next Five chain Three single crochet into the next chain. And a slip stitch into each stitch to the end. And slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And then work the other two legs evenly along between your two legs.
So start with 12 chain Two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. Three single crochet into the next stitch. And a slip stitch into each stitch to the end. Slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And the last leg has worked the same. Join in between the back leg and the third leg and work 12 chain. Two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. Three single crochet into the next stitch. A slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the body and fasten off. Now 
and I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back to show you the finished spider. And there's the finished spider. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have all my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.